accordingly updating of it can be made. So one year would be a good time to do the evaluation. Because we will see many of the people have undergone this uh, like from the feedback of the teachers in Sipadas Technical University and Punjab Technical University. <coughs> Two major things are very apparent. Number one, this feeling of prosperity. Almost every teacher has, you know, is saying that this has added to their feeling of prosperity. Now they feel prosperous. Right? They can also see that, you know, what they have is far more than theirs, what is required. And many of them, you know, say that they have practically stopped buying new things because there is already enough or they have started buying things which are not bought out of fashion but out of need. This change is visible both in the teachers and the students. The second, their you know, attention towards relationship. So large number of teachers now feel that their relationship towards the family has significantly improved. Their relationship with the colleagues you know, in the college has significantly improved and also with the students has improved. So this is the second thing which is quite you know, common. The third thing you know which is uh, um, uh, also uh, there and which we will not say you know, it is very common but it is now slowly showing up is that, that there is a significant change in the attitude of the students towards academics and therefore their academic performance. So some of the places where it is very apparent, like one of them is Triple IIT Hyderabad. One is this Baba Bandha Singh College in Punjab, in Fatehgarh Sahib. Like Triple IIT Hyderabad, last two years, 2010 and 2011, right, the data quest is showing that it has the highest, you know, kind of uh, package offered by the industry, higher than the IITs. But that is not what we are targeted. That's not our focus. You know, this physical facility has not been the focus. But the industry are now saying that these people coming from Triple IT as they are, they are very good in team working. So we have worked on relationship. But for the industry, it is going up in terms of you know uh, team work, which for which they have to train for one year. You know. Even then, it does not work. So this is, you know, uh, happened in place like Tripulati, in place like Baba Vanda Singh College, you know, <coughs> in the MBA, you know, department, there has been 100% placement. Well, it used to be less than 50%. Because during the interview, these people, you know, from the industry, they feel that these people are not trying to walk over the others. They wait for their turn. And then they are asked, you know, they give response, which is, you know, kind of not trying to put the other down. So with that kind of change, um, you know, the whole, uh, this thing in uh, placement has changed. But then these are some of the examples, you know, and we would not make it, you know, you know, it is common. But certainly two things have happened. One, this feeling of prosperity and therefore their dependence for these physical things, you know, is significantly changed. This again, their attention towards relationship has also significantly changed. And this has resulted into a very different kind of attitude towards the discipline in the college. So if that relationship between the teacher and student has improved, right, then this discipline comes out of this you know, feeling of relationship and not out of the enforcement. Some of the teachers who are teaching this course and are very close to the students now, okay, the administration feels that they are the best people to interact with the student okay, and decide any issue of discipline. Okay. And it is done in a much simpler manner than what used to be you know, by way of this enforcement. 
So those things, you know, are quite visible. Some of the evaluation in that particularity, particularly we are now doing in more detail to understand what kind of changes have taken place. But we think that it can be done on, you know, yearly basis. Both change in the teacher, the change in the students. In fact, yesterday only we were talking to Dantoji that if we have to introduce this in Bhutan and make particular this Devu College and CST Colleges you know, one of the best place to do this experiment, then we have to work with the administration, we have to work with the teacher, we have to work with the students. Right. We also have to work with the staff and these people in the immediate vicinity of the college. Right. Then we have to work with the land, with the forest and all these things, you know, with the water. So all this has to be you know, worked with so that a fair you know, kind of uh, change in the whole uh, you know, process takes place. And we are able to see the result in each one of them. Regarding that, we want to have one discussion in the evening today with all the teachers of Hindu College, particularly those who have undergone this workshop. So then, planning, you know, for places like uh, this college and CST and other colleges can be done. You know, what is expected to be done at the level of administration, at the level of teachers, at the level of students, at the level of staff. And what is the possible outcome? All that can be worked out. And then that can be evaluated on the ELD basis. <coughs> because the changes are visible. Even one year, some changes can be you know, evaluated. So every year that can be done. So that will give an idea, give us an idea about the trend. So we don't have to wait for many years to do that. Uh, 
few things I uh, have to mention is that as a follow-up of this workshop or as a follow-up of this introduction into this uh, a few things which are very uh, useful to do at any place even when it is not introduced as a part of the regular course one is the weekly meeting so those who have undergone this workshop if they meet regularly once in a week <coughs> is spending two hours okay one hour spent for sharing of whatever you know, changes are taking place in them in terms of thought in terms of behavior in terms of work and one hour you know sharing on one of the topic so if we can do this it adds to you know our process of uh, exploration very significantly so much so that in india wherever we have been able to ensure this okay the you know the process is very fast okay because you know when we sit together and you know do the sharing lot of things are you know attention is drawn towards many things which the other people are doing and i am not you know immediately paying attention to and also this clarification on each of this you know, topic also help us to progress so particularly here you know most of these colleges are now planning to introduce it. they have quite a few people from the college like gate who already has 23 people from you know well then they were shot before and now i think there must be some some of the people this time so almost 50 40 people now in gate college cst also i think some five people are there sharing with them how many people Eight, 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 <coughs> and taking up new topic then this is quite useful to keep you updating about yourself about the others and also drawing your attention towards new issues the second is you know it is good that you go through another workshop in 6 months uh, you can see when you do the first workshop okay there is so much of it that you undergo and by the time you tune up to one thing you know we move on to the next topic so many things comes to your notice many things you know just run through and i also feel that by the fourth day fifth day when you know, the discussion on relationship is over you almost feel saturated whatever else is given after that okay it sounds kind of you know, overdose <laughs> so we know that but it is it is necessary for us to you know, pass through the whole proposal you know, and coming to that existence particularly because from there you can go back and see you know that everything is so simple so when you come to the first workshop this harmony in society and harmony in nature and all that, sounds to be quite more than required <laughs> but when you come for the next workshop after 6 months many of these things you have already evaluated you have worked with right the other concepts have been very clear to you but then there are a lot of doubts right? new questions have you know arisen so next time when you come after 6 months you will you know come with those new questions and you know, try to get the answer of those questions secondly next time you'll be able to pay attention to more proposals right because you are already settled with the first half so in that sense we keep saying that it is good to attend the workshops you know once in 6 months with your homework that is going on in the 6 months so these are two things 
which of course we have already uh, discussed, that is the course in academic curricula. And there is a part of this, you know, socially relevant projects and conducive environment. Right? So these two things are important. You know, I have, you know, we have been discussing yesterday on this, you know, that <coughs> this colleges, for example, Gedu College, you know, College in Commerce okay, and Management. These students can take up number of projects which has to do with planning for Bhutan, the country. Okay. So in terms of what are the resources available in Bhutan, what are the needs <coughs> in Bhutan, like how this need can be met out with the available resources, how much of it can be met out, how much of it can be, you know, so it needs to be imported or exported, right? Then what will be our trade and you know, commerce, all this. Socially relevant projects can be taken by the students and by the teachers and it will make lot of difference you know, in terms of making these basic things available to the country for you know, planning and also making the students connected to the social you know, society at large. And of course this conducive environment has to be there in order to implement all these things. So this is some of the things which uh, we need to do. <coughs> and one more point which I just said, you know, that regarding the implementation of this course in the formal curriculum, okay, some more details have to be seen and I will just, you know, draw your attention towards it. <coughs> These are the eight steps. So transition to a universal human order. Okay. These are the eight steps we have worked out. Okay. And you can just see through them and see how relevant it is for you. So a detailed roadmap needs to be worked out and implemented step by step. Currently we are in step one. That is introducing it as a course on human values in parallel with the courses. The course will be run through lectures and practice sessions. So that is step one. Okay. So what has been decided for by the RUB for all its colleges is just this step one. The step two is conduct the course on human values as an integrated workshop where the complete content can be proposed in one go. This will ensure better grasping and comprehension for the students. So conduct this kind of workshop, right? Either the daytime or the evening you know, workshop, whereby this whole material is covered in one go, and you know these students are able to see, you know, feel the importance of it. The third step is design and conduct all programs and courses in the institution based on human values, so as to establish value-based you know, education at the level of the institution. So this is something which we have been trying to do in Triple IIT Hyderabad for the last few years. Trying to, you know, kind of redefine all the courses that is being offered okay, on the basis of this understanding. And then also plan out their way, way of approaching life and their discipline and timetable and things like that on the basis of this value-based education. So this is the third step. The fourth step is design and conduct programs for value-based living for all the students, faculty and staff. This will help transform the institution into a family working for a comprehensive, for a cohesive, harmonious growth for all. So this is the fourth step. All, you know, the management, the staff, the students, the faculty, yeah, all of them, you know, are working for this so that we can, you know, kind of plan this institution as a family. So this is the fourth step. <coughs> the step five is initial program for self-sufficiency of the institu institution. Right? through cyclic production activity and take such activity to, to a scale 
where the faculty, staff and students can support themselves internally. So this is a major step, but you know it will take time in the sense that today the education institutions are all based on the exams. Right? So if we think that we have the right understanding and right feeling and the competence to live with definite human conduct, then we must be self-sufficient. Right? So we should be able to produce more than what is required. So this is one major step. And if we do this, then we can see the separation we have created between the real life you know, and the life in the educational institution today okay. can be, you know, can be breached. So this is important. Today, even in the students who is coming out of the agriculture college, we never go for agriculture. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he will become an obvious overseer, right? <laughs> he cannot become a farmer because that practice itself is not there. <coughs> so if the practice is there, <coughs> practice to live, okay, then he can go back and you know, be you know, a responsible member of the family, a responsible member of the society. So this is the fifth step. And the sixth is make the institution a nodal center to promote similar activities in the society at all levels. So not only that educational institution have to become self-sufficient, you know, well disciplined, right? But they also have to start contributing to the society. Right? So the educational has to, institution have to become the nodal center for promoting this activity, similar activity in the society at all ages. <coughs> and the seventh is make the institution a part of process of universal universalization of human education on earth. So that's what is further expanding. And the institution becomes a part of undivided human society and universal human order. So this is what is final goal that this educational institution becomes a base for ensuring undivided society and universal human order on earth. So this is the step A. This is where we want to reach. Talking about uh, making self uh, uh, sufficient institutions, um, what uh, 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 runs through my mind is uh, uh, is it the education that we are going to uh, uh, would it be education that, that uh, you will be offering become more expensive? And uh, in the event education becomes more expensive, if my take is right. Then I think uh, we are going to uh, there will be more disharmony, and we'll, we should ultimately defeat the very purpose of what we are re referring to as a promoting human values and bring order in the uh, uh, in the world as, at, at large. This is just a comment. If it is going to be the apparent. <laughs> okay. If we ensure this, right? Then. The society will not have to support these educational institutions, except, you know, to support it to begin with in terms of infrastructure. Okay. Then onward, they can all produce their requirement. To just give an example, in some of these places I was mentioning, you know, in Kanpur, in Raipur, what we are trying to do is, you know, trying to experiment on this. Like in Kanpur, you know, with two acres of land, okay, we are trying to find out how much you know, food is required for a family of ten people. Right? We are doing a very systematic calculation of it. Then we are trying to produce all that we are <coughs> consuming right, in these two acres of land. Okay. And as uh, Rajaji was mentioning, a major part of it, you know, more than 70% you know, of our need 
we are able to you know produce ourselves and this two acre of land can be maintained you know with four people working six hours a day or six people working four hours a day out of this ten people okay. that means if this can be man you know worked out properly this for last three four years we have been you know trying to do it and I think it will take us some two more years to do this that out of the resource which is available and out of our uh, kind of labor, it will be possible for us to produce more than what is required for all these ten people. Right? So we can do this production, you know, consume what is you know produced by us, fresh, natural, you know, and also with the rest of the time which we have, we can contribute to the process of this you know, bringing human order okay, for the rest of the society. So that should be possible. Like we extended this, you know, uh, to people I, to IIT Kanpur. In one of the hostels, one you know, few of the students thought that this they can do in their hostel. So with the Malis, you know, with the gardeners who were supposed to plant flowers, you know, keep them in you know, very showing state. And so with these gardeners, some of the students decided to do this natural farming in their hostel. I think it is two years, little more than two years now. Okay. They are able to produce vegetable in kilters. Okay. At least out of the seven days, you know, they are able to produce their vegetable for one and a half day. Right. A few students and these four gardeners. Eight students and three gardeners. Eight students and three gardeners are able to produce this food, you know, this vegetable for one and a half day out of the seven days. So similarly, you know, already many other institutions have lot of land, okay? lot of facility in terms of water and all these things. We can start thinking in terms of making light utilization of that infrastructure. And see, the important thing is that if we are, you know, kind of trained to understand, you know, living relationship with human being, living relationship with the rest of nature, doing, you know, this production then we can directly go to the society and work. What is happening is that we are isolated from the society. We are doing things which are not relating us to human being and to the rest of nature. And then after four years when we have to go back to the society, right, we can only do work sitting on the table, not on the ground. Right? We become what we call as white collar persons, okay, and we don't want to meddle our hands with the soil, okay, we don't want to interact with the people also, <coughs> we only want to give them order. <laughs> so I keep telling that the, what you do through this education today, so called the modern western, you know, oriented education, is that you want to consume more and more, and you want to work less and less. That is the mentality of the student, which is developed in these three, four years of professional education. Like we were, you know, kind of asking for the, talking to this final day students of Triple IT. So they are asking for a round, you know, what is your you know, expectation after you go out of this place for a job. One of the students very clearly formulated, said, Good job, which means good package. <laughs> so high salary. Then job satisfaction. Second. Third, if possible, no work. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not something very, you know, uh, different. Okay. You may not be able to formulate it so well. Okay. But this is what most of the students are thinking now. Now with these students, you think they will become an asset for this society or liability for this society? <laughs> <laughs> you see, all this we will have to do, okay, sooner or later. That is the only choice. You do it sooner or later, but we have to do it. No other option left. 
And let me also tell you this, that the kind of students we are producing, these white collars, to support one such white collar, you need at least 100 people to be exploited.